Welcome to Coco DIY is bringing the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And it's another FAQ Friday. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and in today's, this video is going to be a little bit shorter, but still full of a lot of information. So if you're here for that, if you want more of this, what do you have to do? You know what you have to do. Like, subscribe, comment, give me those questions so I can answer them here on the next FAQ Friday, guys. Come on, just do it. I'll wait. Okay, so now that you've done that, subscribed, let's get into the questions. So first question is, how do you store your balloons and all your event planning inventory? So for my balloons, I have these boxes. I ordered these from Uline, I believe. So I, I store them, I store my bigger balloons in here. They're, I just keep them loose because a lot of the times the bags, and then I'll write, um, I'll, I I'll tend to write what the, maybe not what the brand is, but just what the color is. So, um, and then I used to have them stacked right now. They're in a bin because I'm trying to organize and kind of clean my storage right now. But, um, but I usually, these stack really well. So I usually like have them stacked and I try and keep, um, similar colors together. I also, whenever for my smaller balloons, like my five inch, I'll put them in a similar, a container like this and then. The cool thing about these containers is that they fit in there, bam. So that way I can keep my five inch and my, and then I'll just grab, like a lot of the times for, if I'm doing an event, I'll just grab this whole thing, boom. And just put it in my, in my toolbox. Um, and then um, if I do have, then I always have an empty one of these, so this is for like my leftover balloons. I'll, I'll have maybe like one or two containers like this. So when I am on site, but say I don't have enough to fill the little box or I have a lot of loose ones, I'll just stuff them in here for transporting later. And then I will um, take these out and kind of rearrange or whatever. Or if I am gonna keep them, I will write, like obviously this is not the same, this is not, Canyon Rose, <laughs> but um, I will write on the top sometimes if this this is an extra one. But I'll write on the top what the color is. So when if I do ten if I do plan on keeping them in this container, then um, I'll write on the top what the color is. So then that way I know. Um, and then these also, uh, I, these containers also I got from Uline, and these also fit perfectly. So if you are thinking about. I'll try and put the description of them or like the name of them in there. Um, so that's how I store my balloons. My vases I tend to keep in the original box that they came in because they have the dividers and all the cardboard and the packaging. And so I just return, I just keep the old box that they were delivered in or whatever I picked them up in. So then that way, you know, I don't, um, that way it's less risk of breaking are the tables and chairs that I rent out. They are on a rack, so we keep them stored on our chair and table racks. Any kind of baby signs, I try and put in a sturdy box that's flat, so then that way um, they don't get ruined. And then, I, and then everything else I kind of just use Rubbermaid bins or uh, plastic crates from Target to organize and keep everything kind of, you know, separated, organized, and stable. Uh, next question. What do you do with your balloons when you tear down at an event? So, uh, when I go to events, I, I've been try I try to... Um, if I can have my design just stay there and not have to come back and pick up the balloons and I just tell my clients to just pop them, you know, whenever they're done, just make sure they pop everything because you're not supposed to like throw away full size balloons. So I just tell my clients to just pop everything once the event is over. So a lot of the times I can get away because I'm like just... 
either using fishing line or, you know, using different things to attach the balloons to uh, like a pole or, you know, or a side of a house. So I never really have to come back for most of what I, what I deliver. But if there is a time where I was, you know, delivering a backdrop and balloons, then I would, um, I would just pop them on site. Oh yeah, I did. When I did, when I did balloons for the storefront, I had a st one stand and, or no, t I had two stands cause it was going over the entryway. So I did have to come back to that event and I ended up just getting my little poker. There's these little like makeup pokers. Yeah, so I found like these in like a three pack. Um, and I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's just like a, I think it's in the, I think they're in the makeup aisle at the dollar store. Um, but I think it's a two or a three pack. Um, I just, I just pop them on site. Like if someone's with me, I'll have them do all the popping while I tear down the stands. Or, um, I do want to get one of those wands, like balloon popper wands. So I could pop multiples because this is just like you have to pop each one individually and that takes kind of a lot of time. Or you can use scissors. That works too. Whatever floats your boat. <clears throat> um, and then last question. Can you share your entrepreneurial experience and steps taken for success? Well, yes, I can. <laughs> um yeah so my um I back in 2015 I graduated from college um with a degree in marketing and I really wanted to start my own marketing company and but then around that time um social media started to kind of blow up and that wasn't something that I was into so I was a little scared to start my marketing company when a lot of marketing was shifting to social media marketing, which was something that one, I wasn't willing to learn after going to school all that time and spending all that money to learn traditional marketing. And then, and then social media blows up and it's like, uh, now I got to learn something else. So I, um, so I kind of dialed it back. I, I, um, I just was doing, instead of doing marketing, I, I, I did open a company and I did like, you know, get a LLC and all that, but I didn't, um, really do any advertising for anybody except for myself. And, um, I had a business plan, but I didn't really take any action. And then I kind of got into, um, in my nine to five, I got into decorating for any kind of event that we had at work, whether it be a retirement party, baby shower, um, just random, like, you know, uh, team building activities. Um, I was always the one that people went to to decorate. So me and a friend really got into that. And then we started to get asked more and more. And we started to accumulate more and more things in our inventory. And so that tended to uh, make me think like, huh, like I wonder, you know, if we have all this inventory combined, like I wonder if people would pay us for... <laughs> for um going out on uh on like to their play to their house and decorating so you know of course you start with family and friends and then um and you kind of do stuff for just the pictures for free and for referrals uh after a while I would um I would post stuff and then get hired through Instagram and then I was kind of like learning Instagram at the same time so I would say maybe a few years ago is when I started to get serious and I hired um I like you know would go pay for different classes and courses and and got a business coach to kind of help me with that stuff and then the pandemic hit and you know <laughs> I didn't have any of that stuff to do because people weren't gathering so that's when I got into balloons and doing things for myself and just kind of maybe doing my own parties, but not really, uh, not really getting paid for it. And then I, I started my channel and I'm here with you guys <laughs> and I still have my, I still have my second LLC that I started. I still, 
you know, go out and have clients. And um, it's not as many because I am pivoting and transitioning to wanting to get a event venue. So that's something, that's a dream of mine. That's something that I've wanted to do for years. And I've just been learning bits and pieces here and there. So uh, my goal is to have something in the next year. But, you know, we'll see. God's will, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, I would say in order to get started, just, you know, just pick something that you enjoy to do. And, well, pick something that you enjoy doing that other people, you know, see that you're talented. And I think for me, I didn't believe what other people were telling me right off. Um, a lot of people were telling me, oh my God, you should do this professionally. Oh my God, you should do this professionally. And I think it took years for me to actually like listen to that. And I think the, um, the shutdown really made me think about what I really wanted to do and what I really wanted my future, my next, you know, 40 years as I approach 40. Like when I'm 40, what do I want to do for the next 40 years, you know? And so that made me kind of hunker down and think about it and actually put a business plan together and think about all the different ways that I could make money off of it. And what would that mean? Like, like freedom of time, freedom financially, uh, you know, just, just spending more time with my family. So, um, I would just start with that. Start with something you love, start with something you enjoy that just comes naturally. It's not a lot of work. And, and for me, like organizing and putting things together and having things very coordinated in a party is something that comes naturally for me. I enjoy doing it, even though other people may not like it doing it for themselves, but I enjoy doing it. And when someone appreciates me doing that for them, I, um, yeah, I get, I get happy. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully you guys, um, enjoyed this video. Make sure once again, y'all better, y'all better be hitting that subscribe and that like and that little bell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. My, my daughter's YouTube people <laughs> are in my head right now. Um, but yes, uh, if you enjoy this video, then you'll probably like the next one. So stick around. And again, every Friday I'm going to be doing the FAQ. So please submit your questions. Either send me, send me a DM on Instagram or, uh, or just comment on this video or any video that you enjoy and let me know what you guys want to talk about. I'll see you in the next one. Stay crafty. Peace.